Hello guys, this is me Sharad Mohan from Illusionist Photography. Welcome to an another interesting Photoshop manipulation, The Street Girl. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy the video, make sure to like us. Right, now let us get on with the manipulation. So this is the main image that we will be using, the straight girl. So I have already cut it out. Now you can use any technique, either you can use the selection tool or you can use the pen tool, make a selection and any stuff. So I'll add a plain background. Now uh, let's make it from a light gray to probably a dark gray like this. Okay. Now I will also set the gradient to a radial gradient and I will apply it from the center to the edge like this uh, let's see okay we get something like that maybe I'll adjust it a bit yeah like that now I'll go to filter gallery and I'll set it to stand stone and scale it about 164 with the relief value of maybe 2 so that I get, uh, you know, not just a plain but a texturized background. It's, you know, it's having too much relief. Let's decrease that a bit. I'll go to filter gallery again and uh, I'll raise the reduce relief value to one. Yeah, make it like that. Okay, now these are some of the images that I have. I'll add, use this as tattoos. So press Ctrl A to select it and Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl B to paste. Oh, I forgot to auto select. Right. Now I will scale it up. It's going somewhere else. What's happening? Oh, this mouse is giving me shit. Yeah, finally I did it now i'll change this blending mode to multiply now using for the status i'm going to use this uh, new technique okay now yeah, usually i would uh, create a new layer and then displace that to get this but instead i found a new method like this okay so i right click and uh, select the option wrap and uh, i will adjust its contours until it creates a slight bend as if like the arm maybe a little bit more yeah something like that okay press enter now uh, you can either double click on the layer or right click and choose blending options now if you see this small blend if gray right now if you see this about this layer it does this two marks right so adjusting it actually reduces the blending sorry I mean increases the blending okay and uh, you can actually adjust these two jaws which is you see here that I'm gonna pull this in and uh, if you select alt you can break it apart into two and if you feel that the opacity is high you can reduce that maybe I'll put it around 80 percentage like that good now I have a tattoo image this is a fish I think it's a fish a fish yeah it is a fish okay it's a good image mm, I'll scale this up a bit I mean scale it down a bit yeah put it there like that now I'll repeat the same technique change its blending mode to multiply all these tattoos can be adjusted as per your wish because it, just go crazy with it that's all if you want to scale it up scale it up scale it down scale it down now here I'm gonna you know repeat the same technique that I showed earlier I'm gonna wrap it up a bit so that you know her hip is blend bending so that 
I would also adjust the image as if it's bending along with her body. You know, just play around with it. Yeah. These controls are not moving. Okay, good presenter. And I would reduce its opacity to around maybe 90% each. Good. Now, don't forget that the tattoos are extending out of the image. We will solve that later. Okay. Now, this is an Aquarius Zodiac sign that I'm having. I'm going to use that too. Scale it down. What's happening with my mouse? Right. Now, I'm going to... Wait. I can rotate it, right? Why is it not rotating? Yeah, is it rotating? Yeah, somewhat like that. Oof, not able to activate that. Yeah, finally. I think there's a problem with my mouse. I need to change that. These controls are not working. Oh, way too extreme okay now it's working good good yeah man David I'm back a long time after here and guess what so many great things happen I got selected for the Smart India Hackathon organized by the government of India and uh, it was a good experience went to Hyderabad did a project life was going good Hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. Adjusting the image as in using the same tactic that I showed before. Just play around with it. That's all. <laughs> that's my favorite board, you know. Just play around with it. Usually that helps to, you know. Get the so get to know more about the software. Okay. Right now we will add this hot image. I think I would like to place it on her arm, the other arm. Um. Okay. Maybe I wrote it a bit. No. I think I'll go with this itself. And by the way, you and I upgraded from CS5 to CC. Okay, this is the CC 2015 version of Photoshop. Okay, now I'll adjust this. Okay. Yeah, already the opacity to seventy, no, eighty percent each. Right, so you can use the same technique to add more tattoos. So I added some. Now, uh, just simply clip the layers. Okay, when you press Alt, you can see this pop-up sign which emerges, and you can use that to clip the layers together so that it blends with the image. In our case, the street girl. Now, as you can see, there are a few of these tattoo portions which are extending out. So I'll use the eraser tool and I will erase off these extra bits so that we get something like this. Now I'm going to use camera. Uh, no, 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 no. I got to merge this layer together. Right, I'm going to merge this layer to the single. 
well I had that right then I will go to the camera raw filter okay so I'm gonna select you know this default gradients which are available in Photoshop and I'm gonna select a blue color maybe a little towards the royal blue something like this 09 a 3 f3 yeah good okay and I will change that to leading gradient and apply it from the top no 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 not like this something like this okay let me place it on top of the girl actually oh sorry accidentally popped that yeah something like that and now we'll change its blending mode to screen uh, it's way too hard so it would reduce its opacity no 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 yeah opacity what am i doing clicking elsewhere okay the 50 percentage no something like 70 percentage good okay now I will go to the object double click and go to blending options and add inner shadow to show the reflection of the light now you must have seen this technique being also used in my other tutorials I would use this technique for to add the sunlight glare so I'm going to use the same technique here change its blending to color dodge and uh, just adjust the distance and uh, size until you get a good value okay something like that now I will add a gradient if there is a light coming from the top there has to be darkness in the bottom right so you can add a black black gradient from the bottom and uh, reduce its opacity a bit maybe around 50 percentage 500 no yeah 50 percentage something like this good now let's merge all these layers together by replacing ctrl shift alt e that be on the windows I think that these are control shift alt there is a command shift alt on a Mac right we will reduce the temperature a bit so that the image cools down a bit and uh, reduce the exposure right since it's a light falling on an image it has to be dark right so I'm gonna adjust the exposure decrease the highlights and uh, the shadows no, yeah, I've reduced the shadows. Camera Raw is one of the best features I think Adobe has ever included. Instead of providing separate filters, actually Adobe has did a masterwork. You know, yeah, desaturate the image a bit to around minus 15 or so. Now the advantage of uh, CS5, yeah, I forgot to tell. I mean, I mentioned earlier that I'm using. CC right in CC camera raw acts as a smart filter so there is no need to go to bridge and apply it for the users who are using uh, of the photoshop's less than CS6 I think it won't be available as a smart filter in photoshop so you need to go to bridge and apply that if you refer my earlier tutorials you can get to know more about that and how to apply camera raw in lower versions of Photoshop and now I'll we'll go to effects and decrease this highlight priority to get a vignette effect okay now I apply this now maybe the highlights alone will just decrease a bit a bit not more than that okay now this is what we get after camera law let's see this before camera before and after before and after now just one small element remaining and that is to add a nick filter okay I'll go to color reflex pro and I'll go to this cross processing to add just a bit amount of yellow 
and I will choose uh, I think probably be let's try some of this why why not two filters why not to right the green's crazy right now too much pink too much yellow I want it slightly shaded towards the blue I think we want not not one not two yeah I think this works better and I reduce its strength so that it blends better with the image 33 percentage it's good okay let's see that 